Terence Lam here for another tutorial episode. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do geometry correction in Adobe Photoshop CC. Geometry correction is often used by architectural or interior photographers to correct vertical lines. Sometimes this is done with an expensive tilt shift or perspective correction lens. The ultimate goal is to straighten lines that make buildings or structures look like they are off balance. Adobe Photoshop offers some powerful tools to correct for this, and I'm going to show you and demonstrate how you can do this with some simple filters and techniques. I have an image here already loaded up, and I'm just going to show to you what we're talking about here. If I grab my ruler tool here and just drag along to the edges here, you can see some of the lines that are pretty straight. So these two lines here look like they're pretty straight. My window looks a little bit off kilter. It's just slightly leaning to the left there. Let's go to this doorway here. So this doorway is starting to lean outwards. So this is some of the reasons why you might want to use this geometry correction. You can see how this line here is off. Same thing with this line here. And everything is just starting to lean as if the wall is falling in uh, on this uh, image here. So let's just undo that line there. I'm going to start by going under the filter menu here. Now, there's a couple of choices that you can go to correct for a deficient lens. So I'm using here a A6000 with the Sony E 16mm f2.8 lens. It has a little bit of distortion uh, around the, particularly around the edges, uh, a little bit of a barrel and a pin cushion kind of uh, distortion that you might find on, on any kind of wide angle lenses. So we want to correct for some of that. So using programs like Lightroom, or in this case Photoshop, there is a lens correction filter that you can use to correct for that issue here. So as you can see that it, it's picked a profile that has a Sony E 16mm f2.8 lens. It's ready to make that adjustment just right off the bat. So let's take a look and see how that looks. So you can see it just pulled off the edges and stuff like that. and It still does not look right. So I'm going, I'm going to undo this and we're not going to use this particular filter. I'm going to show you a different technique. So returning back to the filter menu here, I'm going to select the adaptive wide angle uh, filter here. And you'll notice right away that it looks like it's distorted the image even further. But don't worry, we're just going to change some settings here. First, we're going to go up to this, this, this menu over here and we're going to change it from auto to perspective. And I'm going to hit the scale here and I'm just going to scale it down around probably around 80% just, just so I can show you what's going on here. So as I scaled it down to 80%, you can see that now it actually looks like a barrel. Um, it has distorted it and you can see all the lines are, are not quite right. That's, that's fine, don't worry about that too much. What I want you to do is go up to this tool over here, which is the Polygon Constraint Tool, by hitting the Y key or just clicking on it. And you'll also notice over to the left-hand side of my screen, there is this Details section here, and it actually acts kind of like a loop and shows you where my cursor is. I'm just going to hit here on this top corner here just a little bit, uh, but keep your line within. You can see that Photoshop is trying its best to actually line it up against that edge there. If I go above that edge, you can see it turns to a red dotted line. So that means it's actually er it's causing an error with it and so it doesn't understand what to do. So just follow along this edge here and just continue to click on the inside of that, that line there. And you can see that it is adapting really well here. I'm just gonna move it down to the, just the bottom corner there. And as you scroll up to the, the last spot here, you can see that this icon now changes to this little black box to indicate that it's closing the box. So now that I've done that, you can see that the line is all straightened out here. Now we're not done yet here. The next tool I'm going to select here is the just the plain constrain tool. So this is just a, uh, constraining it with just two single points. It's using the C key or just click on the tool here. And I'm going to find first a straight line here. I believe that this line here is pretty straight. I'm just going to start by clicking here from the top line here and just following down. And you see that this line actually does a pretty good job of following that. So 
it's pretty close to center, so I think that line is pretty straight. But just to make sure that it is, I'm gonna hold down the shift key, and you can see that it turned to an eyedropper, and just click on that. And what that's doing is it's turning it to a 90 degree angle. I can grab this at any point. Let's grab this point here at any point. And you can move it over, and you can see that it gives me a label that tells me what angle I'm at. I can hold the shift key, and it'll do constraints as well. So you can see that it's done 15 degree constraints. Let's zoom out here a little bit. You can always make adjustments on this too as well. So if you're not happy with it, you can grab that point and you can move that point over and it's gonna to try to make that a 90 degree. So the next line I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust this window. I think this window is quite out here. So I'm just gonna grab that point from the top there and just sort of scroll down here to the bottom here and do the same thing. It's gonna to try to straighten things out. So it's gonna to try to get rid of any distortion first. And now I'm gonna make it uh, 90 degrees. Just hit the shift key again, and click it. Now in the alleyway, I know that there's a couple of lines here that are not quite straight. This looks like a pretty good corner to work from. So I'm gonna go from that corner down to the bottom here. And just, again, holding the shift key and straighten the image. So for the most part, that looks like it's all finished up here. You're gonna see that it seems like now my outside shape is starting to be thinner at the top than it is at the bottom. That is the nature of geometry correction. It's going to thin things out a little bit in one area to compensate, to make it look straight up and down. Don't be surprised if it, if it does pinch it in. I can even do a couple more points in here. I see there's a couple lines here. I always like to do a little bit of correction on any lines. I see just this will help fix for any weird curves or distortions. So it may or may not do anything and it doesn't appear to be doing anything at this moment. So I'm just gonna do a couple extra lines here. You can see that nothing has really changed a whole lot throughout this image. So this is pretty much indicating that it's all pretty much straight. Uh, I got my geometry correction all done here. I don't really have a whole lot more I need to do here. I can scale it back up so that way it crops it. Or what I'm just gonna do is I'm just scale it just right to a little bit to the edge, the bottom edge there so that's nice wide enough. You also notice that the top and the bottom has also disappeared. Again, part of the geometry correction here is going to shrink the image down just a tiny bit. Let's hit the OK. So I'm gonna grab the crop tool here. I'm just gonna make an adjustment here. Grab it from the top and the bottom here. That looks like a pretty good, yeah, you can make any tweaks or adjustments here. Hit return, and there we go. We're all done. So just to show you what it looks like before and after, you can just see how much it has straightened out. Now, if you do this fairly carefully, you shouldn't actually lose a huge amount of the image, but I always expect to lose a little bit in the top and the bottoms uh, and the sides uh, when you do any of this kind of geometry correction. But if I just grab my ruler tool here and just grab a guideline here, all my lines should be pretty straight. Yeah, that's pretty straight there. We know that that center line is straight. The doorway is pretty straight. That other line in, in the alleyway is straight. This is pretty typical of what you would find in architectural or interior photography, a real simple way to do this. You can use some of the other programs, but this is a demonstration to show you how you can do this in Adobe Photoshop CC. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and look for future episodes.